Welcome back to Jolie Farms in Ecuador. It's Joe and Lisa coming at you this morning. What a bright and beautiful day. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a couple of three days of you know rain at night, a little soft rains, not a whole lot, but it has helped things. But wake up this morning, somebody's burning back over here. I mean, well, you just actually, can't. There, it was down the hill. It's down that way. You can't get them to stop. It's like, <laughs> like smoking. <laughs> All right. So, um, just a quick note, we do have electricity. We'll have a follow-up video later this week to mm -hmm. tell you what transpired with all of that and how wonderful that was. And there's more coming on that one, too. Yeah. So we'll talk about that later in the week. Hopefully, we'll have some more information on that. But some people had asked about Social Security and having it deposited here in Ecuador. So uh, we've, we've talked about this in previous videos, in our Ecuador Q&A video, um, some other different videos. But... Yes, it is possible to have that done. So when I first moved to Ecuador, my I was not old enough for Social Security. And so I finally reached that ripe old age. And um, so look at her stupid dog over there standing in her water bowl. Yeah, water dog. Distracting. So um, anyway, so yeah, I was in Texas and uh, for a visit and went ahead and signed up for the Social Security. And I'm having mine deposited to a bank in Texas. Now... Whenever we want to transfer money, what we do is we take a check from our bank in Texas, write it out to ourselves for whatever amount we want. We take it to the, our bank in Loja, which is Banco de Loja, and we deposit it there. No charge for doing that. Money's there in seven to 10 days, typically, sometimes less. Um, you used to could do that at the credit unions here, but they now have stopped that. The credit unions cannot can no longer set, accept out-of-the-country checks. Mm -hmm. And that was some law that got passed for some reason. Let me just come out and say this. The world banking institution and the governments, et cetera, are all looking to go cashless and to track your money. Um, the agreements made under the Obama administration about uh, banking really put a crimp. There are no secret bank accounts anymore. They're secret from the U.S. government. If you're a U.S. citizen, yeah, they're going to find it. So that's just the way that it is. Now, some of the things we're going to say about Social Security might apply to those of you who are getting pensions in other countries. I don't know about other countries. All I know is about Social Security in the U.S. However, some of these same rules might apply. So we'll go ahead and get into it. So you can have your money deposited to two different banks here in Ecuador if you want it direct deposited. And it has to go through an intermediary bank, a bank, bank of New York. Yeah. Yeah. Boney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bank of New York, Boney. So it goes through uh, B-O-N-Y, Bank of New York. And um, then it comes down here to Ecuador. So the two banks here are Proto Banco. And Banco de Guayaquil. And Banco de Guayaquil. So you have to go and open up an account at one of those two banks. Tell them that you're going to be receiving Social Security um, uh, transfers, mm -hmm. and they will actually contact the Social Security Administration. Now, that's according to the documents that the Social Security Administration sent me when I requested them a week ago. But I got to tell you, we're serviced here out of the Santo Domingo branch of the Social Security Administration, and they're kind of interesting over there. So I send them an email in English like I usually do. And they respond with the instructions in Spanish, but all the downloadable PDF documents are in English. So I had to translate all this to Spanish. So it's just kind of weird how they do that. But, but they are more responsive and nicer than some of the Social Security offices in the States. Yeah, the Social Security office in the States, I, I just haven't had great experience there. No. You know, days on end of trying to call in, talk to somebody you can't. Mm -hmm. um, show up at 7 a.m. in the rain and wait outside Social Security office. And that's what we had to do. And We did. And, and we had been here long enough and we had gone to enough different places here. It's like, well, at least in Ecuador, they open the door. They won't service you until it's time, but they don't make you stand outside in the rain. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, the answer is yes. There are two banks you can use here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to put in the description box the PDFs for the forms. But quite frankly, you can go on the Social Security Administration website, download them yourself, and you're going to need two different forms, a direct deposit form and the form for Ecuador. And you'll also need the form for which of the two banks. There's two different forms for each bank. 
there's like three forms that you're going to need. And so I do have friends here who are having their Social Security direct deposited right here in Ecuador mm -hmm. and have for many years. Right. So um, it's possible people do it all the time. We've been talking about doing it. We haven't done that yet. We're lazy. Yeah. One of the things about having a check deposited here from our Texas account is that then we can go withdraw out those funds and we can put them wherever we like. Mm -hmm. Hint, hint, wink, <laughs> wink. So they become untraceable at that point. Well, no matter where you go, once you pull it out, it's untraceable. But yeah, yeah, so, I think uh, you have less of an issue pulling it out when you're sure. here. And if you have your all your investments in fiat money, I would highly suggest diversifying a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> um, not being a conspiracy theorist about it, but I mean, you got to be comatose not to realize that the dollar's in trouble mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to manipulate it manually for a while and do some different things and until it's um, too late yeah until it's too late yeah so um it's always a good idea to be diversified and have your money in other currencies and different types of things gold silver bullion um, whatever it may be paper is not a good thing in general no yeah no so yeah so so these forms are here we've got them and uh just in the directions and all, there's a direct deposit sign-up form. You know, all of that stuff is here. You can do that. What else you want to say about banking and Social Security here? Anything? I don't know much about Social Security yet. Not old enough. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> yeah, now when you go to uh, get a bank account at one of these two banks, you're going to have to have someone with you who already has a bank account established there. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I don't, so I can't help you. Um, I do help some people at Banco de Loja sometimes. Um, I send them to Ruben at the Super Maxi branch here in Loja. He speaks and English, and he's very kind. Ruben will take care of you. Um, and you, again, you're going to need someone recommending you, mm -hmm. you know, uh, someone who lives here and has a bank account. And uh, they'll probably want the address of that person, but they... They're well aware that we don't always have addresses here in Vilcabamba. True. They, they get a general location. <laughs> That's about it. Now, one thing I will tell you about Social Security. The moment that they realize that you're living here in Ecuador and outside the U.S. for six months or longer, it is the law that you have to give them a, a an address where you live. And, or well, they will cut you off. They want a mailing address. A mailing address. Which is really hilarious because we don't have mailing. We don't have, in we don't have mail service in Ecuador. And no. I, I talk myself blue in the face explaining to them that I have a mail service in the U.S. that they can mail to and I get the stuff in 48 hours. And mm -hmm. if they mail to Ecuador, I'm never going to get it. No. Um, so we do have a post office here in Vilcabamba. It is a privately owned post office. All of that mail goes to a location in Florida, and then it's brought down here via, I don't know, DHL or Mule or something, but yeah. it comes to the post office here in Vilcabamba. That process is going to take two weeks. If everything's on time, you get it in two weeks. But the Social Security doesn't want to hear all that. So we no. went ahead and opened up a P.O. box, gave them the P.O. box number here in Vilcabamba, and that satisfied them. Um, but again, I will never be able to get mail from Social Security here. We have an online account, which they send us messages through. Yeah. I don't know why that's not good enough. We have email with Santo Domingo. They know who I am. I don't know why that's not good enough. Um, we have a, a physical house mailing address in Texas, which we use. That's not good enough. No, no, none of it. I mean, the whole thing is they're wanting to keep track of where everybody's at. Yeah. So, That's exactly right. Keep and it's not enough you. to tell you what country you're in. They want to know exactly where you're at in that country. We forgot our tinfoil hats this morning. I know. I, I think we should have virtual tinfoil hats. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Social Security, um, oh, man, they're just interesting and, um, you know, things to deal with now. Oh, come on. It's a government office. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just... it's a government office. That and says it all. And no better here in Ecuador, I guarantee you. So uh, you will have to provide that mailing address. There are no post offices here in Ecuador currently, 
the postal system went bankrupt. Someone has bought it out, but they say it's going to be a few years before they have anything up and running again. So we do have a private post office here in uh, Vilcabamba, and you can talk to them. You can reach them through... Um, Yaw Express Shipping. Yaw Express Shipping, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that uh, contact up in the description box as well. And uh, Yaw Express is owned by Yadira Alarcon, mm -hmm. the attorney, real estate agent. They have the post office and the express shipping. So you can have things shipped here to Vilcabamba from the U.S., from Amazon. Um, it's $10 a pound if you have a post office box with Yaw Express. Mm -hmm. So um, there are some requirements, you know, some regulations. You can't can't be more than four pounds or four hundred four hundred dollars. Yeah, four pounds and four hundred dollars are restrictions. Yeah. So you may have to ship it up, ship some stuff one week and yeah. something else the next week. I mean, they have work. little rules here and there, so it you just have to keep track of what they what the rules are. And there's lots of you know independent shippers like that here in Ecuador. Um, you got to be very careful. We've lost money with a couple of them, mm -hmm. and we're not alone. Lots of people have. Um, they tend to go out of business very easily now. Yaw Express is pretty secure. Um, they're going to be there. Yeah. Um, there are mules who will fly to the U.S., like to Miami, mm -hmm. bring your stuff back along with other people's stuff. Just understand Things like, you know, new laptops, I think, are like 100 bucks these days to bring one of those back. Uh, cell phones, what, $20? Or? Yeah, they don't like you bringing electronics in unless you're doing it personally. Yeah. So they they tend to upcharge you on electronics a little you bit. You want some credit cards brought in? That's usually 20 bucks. Um, it depends on who you go with, yeah. but yeah. We just had that done. Uh, some of our credit cards got updated. So, yeah, so that's all available here. And, and usually the turnaround, you know, on that kind of stuff is about two weeks. Some are sometimes longer. During the holidays, yes, it will slow down. Yeah. Holidays, if there's a riot up north or something like that, yeah. um, just little things. I mean, it's just part of getting to know the country you live in. That's exactly right. All right, so that's all we know about depositing your Social Security here in Ecuador. It can be done, two different banks. Um, lots of people here do that. Um, we may yet do that. We'll let you know if we decide to. There you go. All right, thanks for tuning in. Ciao for now.